we're going for a flight. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Kids, are you okay? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh no. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we're going to be messing around with one of the most insane car mods of all time. It's a minivan. <laughs> so maybe I am um, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but it's more than it seems. I mean, no, not really. This is the stock version. It's pretty much as basic as you can get. But you will see this thing has a couple tricks up its sleeve. So, this thing is called the Bruckle Star Wind, which is supposed to be a Ford Windstar. See what he did there? He just kind of switched the words around and put a Bruckle sign on it. Anyway, unfortunately, guys, you will not be able to download this mod in particular because it got taken down for, for reasons. But, uh, it was actually sent to me, so to whoever sent me this, uh, thank you very much so I could check it out. And you guys can still get a chance to see this thing in all its glory because it might just look like a normal minivan, but it actually has some pretty awesome things that it can do. So if we actually click on the the star wind, I keep wanting to say wind star, but if we click on the star wind here, you'll see we have different variants. I don't know why I said that so weird. Variants, not variants. Anyway, the descriptions of these are some of the best that I've seen in a long time. So we uh, right off the bat, we have a, a submarine version. One that could go underwater. Anyway, it says, we all live in a yellow bruckle van. Yeah, yeah, you get that. And then we also have a drag version, so a drag minivan. Uh, got a heckin' uh, go fast. It's got over 90,000 horsepower. Uh, okay. I, I'm a little bit scared to try that one. Then we have a police version. It says, I'm gonna get you <laughs> eventually. Because, <laughs> you know, it's slow. You get the joke. There's jokes all over the place. Anyway, we've got a taxi version. Day after day, your home life's a wreck. The powers that be just breathe down your neck. Sounds like, is that really famous song lyrics or something? Uh, the joke went right over my head. Anyway, we have a kill climb edition of a minivan. So even more ridiculous than the, the drag for some reason. Anyway, it's a Bruckle's secret weapon in the racing scene. Fitted with enough downforce to drive upside down along with their Death Wish V6. Producing over 30,000 horsepower. <laughs> oh, that is insane. And we got the Madame. Uh, Oi, bruv, you gotta get Yvonne out of the bruv wagon. Ain't, we ain't fiddling with no soy boy. I think I knew some of those words. Anyway, what's so special about that one? I don't know. Anyway, we got the ETK TT Sport. Anyway, whoever heard of a rear wheeled drive minivan tuned by ETK? Nobody! This van is actually illegal. You will be in a storm of cease and desist orders from both companies if you're seen driving this. Oh, that's hilarious. Then we got the base version, which I have right now. See, it says, I mean, you get what you pay for. Not my fault. We're poor. That's uh, too real. Too real indeed. Then we got the tow package because upfitted with enough torque to tow over 10,000 pounds as well as beat a Sunburst Sport RS off the line. Just don't tell them we said that. That's a little insane as well. Then we got the club sport. House real big. Cars real big. Belly really big. Everything really big. Rims really big. Pockets really big. Rings really big. Let me tell you how I live. Is that more song lyrics? It must be. It sounds like a country song lyric or something. Anyway, we got the Aussie version as well. Oi, mate. We put a bull bar on the truck tires on your minivan. So, yeah, it's just an insane version. But we're at the beach, so I think I want to try the submarine version because... Submarine cars are always awesome, and a minivan underwater just looks hilarious to me. So we got the big freaking snorkel. Now let's see if this actually works. So we're going to drive straight into the water here. Yes! It's working! Look at that! And by the way, you want to see something weird? We got some Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Diggs Dimsdale Dimmodome, because we keep zooming out. The snorkel just keeps on going, man. <laughs> it just goes on. For infinity, we can drive straight into the ocean. Oh my god, it keeps going. There's the end of it, finally. <laughs> oh, this is uh, a little ridiculous, but it gets the job done. We are driving underwater right now. <laughs> oh, this is the weirdest thing 
I think I've done all week. Driving a mid 90s, probably 90s minivan with a with a, the, a hundred foot snorkel under the water. This isn't conspicuous at all. At all, if we're trying to like spy on somebody and you look out at the beach and you just see this sticking up off the ground, <laughs> that wouldn't be that wouldn't be conspicuous at all. Okay, let's see if we can go a little bit deeper here. Yes, we can. Of course we can. Why am I smoking and how? Am I smoking underwater? That's a that's an even bigger question. Oh no. Oh no. We're going a little bit deeper here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't fall, don't fall. Oh. Okay, so now the snorkel's like <laughs> Uh how do, No, 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 no. Oh. Engine flooded with water. That's uh that's unfortunate. Well, <laughs> I guess we found out how deep it can go. Pretty freaking deep. Like, that's that's still out of the water. <laughs> really, look how deep down that is. It's pretty far down there. Anyway, that is the submarine version. I just I just wanted to use that one because it, the first because it's just, I don't know. It's just hilarious, man. It's hilarious. All righty. So here is the drag edition, which, oh God. Okay. I, I imagine this thing has quite a bit of power. The ultimate sleeper, if you will. Now, if somebody wants to time this, uh, feel free to, cause I'm kind of curious to see how fast we do this. So here we go. Three, two, one. I know it's already green. Anyway, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Holy crap. Oh, that is quick. <laughs> oh, I can't turn it though. Oh my God world's fastest minivan 230 miles an hour 250 260 oh we're going for a flight uh oh oh no oh no oh no oh, oh no kids are you okay there? i don't think so oh no could you imagine picking up the kids from soccer practice in this beast you, you take them in the car and everybody's like what that's a, that's a weird looking minivan, and then you just go BURN! <laughs> just gone. Scare the crap out of everybody. I would drive this thing. I would pick up my kid in this thing. Not gonna lie. Look at that thing go, man! The camera can't even keep up! Uh oh. Uh oh, this thing doesn't turn very well, though, that's for sure. Oh god! Oh, and there we go. <laughs> just watching it fly through the air it is a thing of beauty, man. And we burst it into flames. That sounds. Oh, that sounds appropriate, actually. Look at the tires, man. They're so wobbly already. <laughs> I'm not even touching them, and they're wobbling all over the freaking place. I think it's too much power. You know, back uh, uh, in the earlier days of BMG Drive, when, it, when you modded a vehicle to have just an insane amount of horsepower, the tires would, like, inflate to gigantic sizes, and then just explode and just rip your cars to shred. It was kind of awesome, actually, because I remember I... I was looking at a mod that added 10,000 horsepower to the D series and every time the back wheels would just inflate to about like this big and then just explode and rip the car to pieces. It was amazing. I kind of missed that honestly. Oh, I kind of like the way the uh, the hill climb edition lo looks. It only has one seat I imagine to to make it not weigh as much. Anyway, this supposedly has 30,000 horsepower so let's see what it can do with it. So here we go. Oh my god. God, that feels faster than the drag edition. And it's making like no noise. <laughs> this is faster. Oh, maybe it's not faster. But it definitely gets off the line faster than the drag edition. That is insane. It's a lot lower as well. And look at the giant freaking wing on the back of this. I don't think I've ever seen a, uh, a wing in general at all on a minivan. So seeing it on here is rather weird. Got a good subreddit for you guys. Uh, if you like stuff like this, I believe it's called Shitty Car Mods. And uh, it just has a ton of stuff like this. People just doing the weirdest stuff to their cars. It's a great subreddit. Highly suggest it. Maybe I should post this on there. I don't know if that'd be breaking the rules or not. But yeah, this thing actually controls pretty well. I mean, it has a little bit too much power. Okay. Well, we're on the racetrack now. That's what I was trying to do. So let's just get off the sand here. Well, if, I, if I could add anything to this mod, it would be an off-road version. I don't know. I'm, I'm just like into off-road cars after yesterday's mod, the off-road age series. If I could get an off-road minivan, my life would be complete. Let's see, we drift it. Uh, kinda, kinda. Oh, come on, come on. Let's try that again. Whoop. No, it doesn't want to drift. 
Yeah. <clears throat> You're stuck in the sand. What is that down there? Is that a is that a web browser <laughs> on my dashboard? On my gauge cluster? That is a little strange, not gonna lie. Listen to the sound this thing makes. Does that sound natural to you? And we only got like one pedal. The pedal goes through the floor. <laughs> ah! What is this video, man? What am I doing? So is this just like the fancy edition, the the Madame version? I'm not really sure what it what the difference is. It's sl I mean it's a normal. I mean it's pretty fast for a minivan. But what's so special about it? Is it just more flushed out? I don't know what's going on with this one. It doesn't turn very well though. Oh! <laughs> Every time he crashes, this car just bursts into flames. I love it. What engine is in that? Hold on, before you burst, before you burn to a crisp, can I take a look at the engine here? Can I even pull up the hood? Let's put that to 100, boop! No, that's not what I'm trying to do, this one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks like a pretty normal, uh, pretty standard minivan engine, if I ever did see one. Here's the Club Sport one, look how low that is to the ground, man. No ground clearance at all. I imagine I'm gonna see sparks flying. At, at, at every little little creek in the road here, but it's pretty dang quick This is like a balled out version. Come on man. Oh Can't go anywhere without crashing. This thing is flimsy as heck man Just uh, every little every little every little uh, collision with anything just breaks the entire thing Which you know is probably realistic to an actual Windstar if we're being completely honest I don't know how well regarded those cars are, but I, I, I didn't have one growing up, but oh I don't know. I can't vouch for their uh, reliableness, but this thing feels like tin foil, man. Well, here's the uh, <laughs> police car. Looks more like a mall cop car to me, but it is a police car, so we obviously got to try it out. So I guess we'll just chase the uh, the base version, the one that you get when you're poor, quote unquote. Uh, we'll see which one comes out on top. I imagine both are uh, about as slow as you can get. So this should be the world's slowest police chase. So let's set that. Where's the AI? There it is. Ah, oh, crap. I pushed the wrong button. Let's set the AI to flee. And we're off! The police car actually feels a little bit more nimble than the last one I drove, so. Oh, where are you going? What just fell off? Oh, hubcaps. <laughs> Great. Are those my hubcaps? They are my hubcaps. They just fall off. I barely hit them, man. I barely hit him, man. This is a this is a police chase. <laughs> At 40 miles an hour. Oh wait, maybe 50 miles an hour. Oh, we're getting up there now. Why don't you just go straight? See if you can get some airtime here. Here we go. Yep. There we go. Wow, we're moving now. 90 miles an hour. We're going crazy. Oh, he's not gonna have time to slow down, is he? He's not gonna slow down. He's not gonna slow down. Whoa! And that's all she wrote. What is going on here? I don't know. But I do think that they're both broken forever. So that was the world's slowest police chase through downtown LA in a 1990s minivan. That's something you don't see every day, folks. All right, so obviously we got us in the drag version off the car jump arena. I mean, we have to. Look at those tires, man. They're just wobbling all over the place. Anyway, how far do you think it's gonna go? I'm guessing. I'm guessing 500. Anyway, here we go. We're going 200 and oh my god! Holy crap! Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow! That actually went really, really far. And we're still going too. Look at us go. A little bit flatter than we started, but we still made it. We still made it. Let's get a little first person going in here. Let's see how far that'll get us. Oh, okay. Can control over the vehicle first, probably a good idea. Anyway, here we go. We're about to learn to fly the Beam and G family. Hold on, kids! Oh, <laughs> oh we're going head first this time. Uh oh. Oh no! Camera work with me. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> no. And once again, we end up in the swimming pool 
of the Mighty Car Jump Arena. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this episode. Unfortunately, I don't have a link for you guys to have in the description if you want to mess around with this yourselves. I apologize, but that's just the way it is. Disappointing, but maybe we'll see another minivan in the future. I would love to see one. If you guys would too, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what you think, and make sure to hit that like button, and make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.